In order to connect to the wireless projectors in secondary, first turn on the projector, then you'll need to access the software from all programs, Epson projector, Easy MP network projection software. To create a shortcut, simply right click and drag onto the desktop and create shortcut here. When you first open it up, it will ask you uh, to select your connection mode. Select advanced connection mode and tick the checkbox so it doesn't ask you again. It will then search but it won't be successful uh, because the way our network is set up so simply click cancel. If you don't click cancel it will say no projector was found just click OK. You'll have to do a manual search and it says enter the projector IP address or name. So all the projectors start with the prefix of PJ dash and then the room number. So for example M9 um, is entered like that. However, um, they are case sensitive. So because I entered a lowercase m, it comes up and shows the projector as not found. So I'll clear the list and try that again with the capital M9. Shows the projection uh, projector on standby. I can simply just click here and then click connect. Before I do that, uh, I want to have a look at the setting options and the audio output. Now you can check click this checkbox and that will make the audio come out of the projector. The projector audio is not as good as the speaker projector but uh, that enables you to be mobile. If you want to use the, the speakers uh, you'll have to plug it in manually directly into the laptop as you would normally. Uh, the adjust performance uh, you can set that on fast um, and all the other general settings should be left the same. So simply click connect and your screen will then be displayed on the projector.